Lilibet does not have. Charlotte inherited a special gift from her grandma, Princess's iconic tiara. The new Princess of Wales Catherine may not inherit Princess Diana's wedding tiara, but her daughter, Princess Charlotte will after Queen Elizabeth's death. Prince William and Kate were officially given the titles of Prince and Princess of Wales by King Charles III. In his first address as monarch, the couple already updated their social media handles to reflect the change in roles, although Kate already has the engagement ring that once belonged to Diana, another piece of her wedding jewellery, the diamond-encrusted tiara she wore to her 1981 nuptials will reportedly be passed down to Charlotte. The late Princess Diana has two granddaughters, Princess Charlotte Seven and Lily Bet Mountbatten Windsor One however, only one granddaughter is likely to inherit a key piece from the former Princess of Wales's iconic jewellery collection. Princess Charlotte's cousin Lily Bet One is unlikely to be afforded the same honour. She is seventh in line to the throne. The seven-year-old daughter of the new Prince and Princess of Wales is said to be given the pick of the palace jewels. This is thanks to her being the only daughter of the heir to the throne following the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8. One of these is said to be the Spencer tiara, the very same crown worn by Lady Diana won the day of her wedding to King Charles. On July 1981 the show-stopping headpiece had been in the Spencer family for almost a century before the royal wedding. The tiara was partly made from a wedding gift in 1919. Lady Cynthia Hamilton's Diana's grandmother for her marriage to Viscount Althorpe Charlotte knows about the tiara through learning about her grandmother, Diana and cannot wait till one date right on. The headpiece had been in her family for almost 100 years before Lady Di joined the royal family, the then 20-year-old requested to wear the family heirloom rather than borrow one of the queens for the ceremony. One of the last people to wear the tiara was Celia McCorkadale Needs of the 9th Earl Spencer Charles at her wedding in the spring of 2018. The Charlotte is only seven years old now, she might have to wait until she gets married herself before she can show it off. As tradition dictates that brides wait until their wedding day before first wearing the piece. The young princess is set to become the richest member of the royal family. She could one day be worth a staggering. Asa conflicts, pound 3.6 billion Duke and Princess of Wales daughter. Princess Charlotte will most likely inherit a treasure trove of jewels and accessories when she's older, but one special family heirloom that she could become the owner of is the exquisite Spencer tiara, her maternal grandmother, Diana, Princess of Wales famously wore the tiara on her wedding day in 1981 after it was also worn by her older sisters Baroness Jane Fellow is and Lady Sarah McCorkadale, their nuptials in 1978 and in 1980 respectively. The tiara was inherited by their father John Spencer, 8th Earl Spencer in the mid-70s. And according to Sotheby's Auction House who are displaying the tiara in their Power and Image Royal and Aristocratic Tiaras exhibition in London this week the tiara is now set to be inherited by Princess Charlotte. Diana looked stunning when she wore the tiara on her wedding day to Prince Charles in July 1981. The headpiece is designed in a garland style and features a central heart flanked by continuous running scrolls, interspersed with star trumpet-shaped flowers. It is set throughout with circular and rose-cut cushion and pear-shaped diamonds mounted in gold. While the catalog states Charlotte will inherit the tiara, it is still in the possession of Diana's brother Charles Spencer, 9th Earl Spencer Charles lives at the Spencer family home at Althorpe House in Northamptonshire after inheriting the estate aged 27 as the eldest male and also has five daughters of his own from his three marriages. And they could also inherit the beloved held peace.